Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Here we have, brothers, another prime example of why the scriptures refer to the power that we serve as the God of terrors. In the caption, it reads here Pregnant mother murdered in front of her nine year old son. Rapper ex boyfriend arrested. You see, this is why it tells us. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living power. The precept is another precept that also tells us work out your salvation with fear and what else? Trembling. I'm going to play this video shortly, but let's grab a few more precepts before I allow it to play. Because the Lord is responsible for all things. Remember, Yahweh Shai stated, a sparrow doesn't fall to the ground unless the Heavenly Father sanctions it. Second Ezra chapter 7 verse 78. And it reads, now concerning death, the teaching is this. When the decisive decree is gone forth from the Most High that a man shall die. Who's the, who decides it? When the decisive decree has gone forth from the Most High that a man shall die. See, our Lord is the master director. He orchestrates everything that goes on here on the earth. How do we know for sure? Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God beside me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The Lord does at what pleases him. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5, the just Lord is in the midst thereof, the Lord sees everything. Remember the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Even though it's talking about the eyes of the Lord, speaking of the angels, they report back to him, they tell him everything. Let's continue, he will not do iniquity. Our Lord's judgment is perfect. He can do no wrong. Every morning doeth his judgment goeth forth. Every morning he bringeth his judgment to light. Pardon me, brothers. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. The judgments of the Lord are perfect. Let's get one more precept. I want to play that news article there. Psalms chapter 119, verse 75, and it reads, I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right. And that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Now, keep all those precepts in mind. And look at how the Lord has not only afflicted this woman, her unborn child, but also this entire family. Listen closely to the details that are divulge. The family of a pregnant mother killed in her parents' driveway says they're relieved the police have made an arrest now. They say that while the suspect was on the run, he was posting on social media and even responding to their posts. Channel 2's Tom Jones live at DeKalb County where the family says this isn't the first time they've lost a loved one to gun violence. And Justin Raisha Heard was killed right here in her parents' driveway. Mm. The family says a year ago they lost another family member to gun violence. They say Raisha helped them deal with that death and now she's gone. Our family is devastated. Devastated. The Hurd family is crushed after a gunman shot 31-year-old Raisha Hurd seven times in her parents' driveway, killing the pregnant mother of two. Police have charged Justin Lewis, a rapper who goes by the name Mad Music Cali, with her murder. Raisha's family says she had broken off their relationship because he was abusive. This is a person who has mistreated her for years. The family says Raisha was shot in front of her nine-year-old son. They are relieved Lewis is in custody. I'm just... I look at Jake, man. Mouth all damn ultimate. <laughs> Mouth all damn open. Now, we know, ultimately... The Lord used this rapper here, right, her husband, as a spirit created for vengeance to bring about judgment upon her. You know, we don't know all the ins and outs of this relationship, but we know that this woman was not serving the Lord. Neither was he. And that's why this Lord brought the harsh judgment upon this family. But let's continue. Happy that Justin is captured because we don't want anybody else to experience this. No other family. The family says this isn't their first brush with gun violence. We just buried my brother last year for gun violence. Raisha was the glue that held everyone together. That was my rock. Mm -hmm. She was really helping me heal. Now she is gone. The family couldn't believe it when they saw Lewis on social media after the shooting like nothing had happened. I actually posted that he was wanted and that we, was going to find, we were going to find him and he liked it. He liked the status. They are now urging people to recognize signs of trouble early in relationships and get out before you become too attached. Don't fall in love to find out that 
you know, your hands are not for hitting, they're for hugging. The family says they're on a mission. We're going to definitely seek justice for Aisha. I look at this man here, right? And obviously, if you look at the, the relatively recent events that happened within this family, with them losing someone to gun violence approximately a year ago, uh, Maisha being deleted and her unborn child, and also this individual here. Look at the, look what the Lord has done to this man's face here, right? The Lord's hand of wrath is against this family, and the entire family needs to repent, and also the entire house of Israel. But let's continue. And the herds say Lewis was the father of Raisha's unborn child. He is now in the DeKalb County Jail facing a malice murder charge. Raisha will be laid to rest on Monday. We're live in DeKalb County. Tom Jones, tell two action news. Let's go from here, brothers. Let's get a little bit more. Let's come out of this. Let's go here. Right? Let's go to Amos chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry out unto me, I will not hearken unto them. I want to ask you a question. You don't think that this, Lord, this young lady here, this young woman, was calling on the Lord? But guess what? She wasn't serving the Lord. Remember the scripture that precepts that states, The Lord's ears are open to the prayers of the righteous and i just paraphrase that right but you can look that precept up in your own time let's move along from there for those who say that the lord wouldn't slay this woman her unborn child yes the lord will you, you, through these precepts you should get a better understanding of how the lord operates ezekiel chapter 6 verse 9 look at what the lord said through ezekiel slay utterly old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark right that's that mark of exemption that's the mark that we have the hopeful elect because those of us who who working out who are working out our salvation with fear and trembling the angels are encamped around us they're protecting us from harm right let me continue and look at what the lord said and begin at my sanctuary then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Because as Peter tells us, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, for the time is for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. It's gonna start with us Israelites, all 12 tribes, right? It's gonna start with us. And if it first begins with us, what shall be the end of them that do not obey the gospel? We just seen what was going to happen to those that don't obey the gospel. Through that news story, let's close out with this. This is this is the stead we should be in, right? A repentance stead, constant, constantly bearing fruits of repentance. Joel, chapter two, verse thirteen and fourteen. It says, "Rent your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love." And he relents from sending calamity, right? So look at what the Lord does when we repent. He relents from sending calamity. Let's go from there. One more. Who knows? He may turn and relent and leave a blessing. And what is that blessing in this time? That's grace. That's mercy, right? That's what that looks like in function and in practice. The Lord should have mercy upon you. But the Lord did not have mercy upon this woman nor her family. Repent, O house of Israel. Shalom.